Hello, people of the internet. If you're an Android user like myself and have ever wanted to send text messages from your computer like your iPhone friends, well, today's your lucky day. I'm gonna show you um, a few options that will let you do that, and some are free, some are paid, and some you have to have a certain subscription for, um, but they all work and they all will, allow, will get the job done. So if you're new here, Welcome to my channel. My name is Nathaniel and this is Friendly Tips, the channel that is all about technology, gadgets, and showing you cool ways of how to use them. So consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification down below so you can be the first one to know when a new tip goes live. So if you like this video, make sure to share it on social media to your friends. So first up, we have Android Messages. This is Google's own text messaging app. It's a free app and they recently added the ability to text from any web browser. This means that you can text from PC, Mac, Chromebooks, even iPads via the Safari browser. Setting up the service is very easy. Once you have the app installed, you click on the three dots in the top right corner and click Messages for Web. Then navigate on the computer you're trying to text from to messages.android.com and you'll be greeted with this page on the left. Just click Scan QR code on your phone and scan the code on the browser and you're all set. Next up is my personal favorite. This app is called Pulse. This app allows you to send and receive text messages from a ton of different apps and platforms. You have the Android app, web, PC, Mac, tablet, Firefox, Linux, and even iOS. How it works on iPad is the same as Google's Messages app. You will have to use the web app on the iPad, but it is totally doable. This app offers a ton of features, and most notably, end-to-end -end encryption, back, uh, backup and restore, customization features, and a number of other features that I really have grown to love. With all these features, it does come at a cost. The developer offers a seven-day free trial, but then you will have to pay a fee to continue to use the app. Personally, I love it, loved it so much that I bought the lifetime membership. I honestly don't know why anybody would go with any of the other options that, that he offers in terms of payment options. Lastly, if you're a T-Mobile subscriber and you have a T-Mobile branded device, you can use Digits. Digits is, is a both a web and PC and Mac app. It allows you to text, but also it allows you to receive and, phone, and take phone calls. In my experience, it was the most clunky in, of all the three I, I'm talking about here, and it crashed the most. But when it worked, it worked. It's free, and if you're a T-Mobile user, you should definitely check it out and give it a whirl at least. So thanks for watching my how-to video on how to send text messages from your computer with, um, with Android. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button down below and share it with your friends on social media. Um, there's two videos that are going to be over here that I have handpicked that I think you'll really like um, that are also how-tos or reviews. Um, I appreciate every one of you guys. Thank you so much for your support of this channel and watching my videos and just coming back and enjoying things. Um, thanks for being a subscriber. Take care.